hello guys in this video we are going to create the onboarding screen so for that i will be using one dependency that is this introduction screen so i just copy this go back into pub spec and just put it under the dependency just save it okay so meanwhile it is creating so let's create a new page with the name on boarding underscore page dot dot so we will be designing our stateless widget over here for onboarding screen okay so here what we will do we will just use the safe area first of all and this inside which we will be using so once it is installed then you will be able to see this component that is introduction screen so that's fine so let's add comma here and here we need to add a couple of properties the one important is pages where we will draw our pages and then we need to have another let's say next so next we'll ask for a widget so whenever we will see some doors over there I just show you so let's add a quick icon over here and we will say icons dot uh, let's go with the right side let's use this arrow this one let's use this okay so this is fine and here inside the pages we have to use page view model so this page view model would have some properties like it would have some title so let's say text and we can pass some text over here and the text actually this title i think is taking a string so we don't need any widget let's quickly give it a string that's a and same way we have another property that is body and for the body again you can give some let's say description like say and the third one is we can use some image as well so there is an image property over here so which is expecting one widget so i have some images from a network so if you have your local images put it into the assets and you can use it accordingly so i will use a network image and give it some source so let me just show you a few images for example let's use this one and just save it okay and what we need to do is just go to main and instead of using this home page use on body screen save this and oops okay so we have to use couple of more properties here so you have to set this turn property and okay let's go back and here we need to use turn property as well so again for done we can use some text or you can use it icon as well if you want so whatever you want you can choose so let's say done is there let's try to check it out so it is saying what uh, you have done is equal to, is equal to null or on done is not equal to null so we have to use done and along with this we have to use on done as well so these two properties are required so let's stop it quickly and just go here and we just what we do once everything is done that is on done what you need to do you can just simply navigate to something a function here and say go to home page okay so we will define it over here just create this and here we just navigate simply use navigator dot push replacement and just keep the context and the route semicolon 
material page route and just here use the builder and returning it to const home page and this context we need to pass into this function let's pass it over here and done so now we have done with done as well as on done so it should not be showing any error okay now you can see this design so you can see one dot because there is only one this inside this pages we have only one page view model so what we do let me design one then we can design the rest of these so we need some padding on the top let's go here and use some decoration do we have yes so for this we have this const page decoration and inside the page decoration you can use just is there any padding property yep body padding so we just need the image padding so let's use add inset dot only so from the top let's give it something 80 let's try okay seems better and same way we can use more decoration over here for we have this body textile where we can give some text style and here we can use this font size let's give it uh, 20 for the body and if you want you can just use the color as well let's use colors colors start from let's give it do save this and this is how it will look and if you want just give it purple color save it so this is the body part and for same way we can use as more property that is title text style so here we can again use these and just copy this and put it over here and this one we should make uh, let's say 24 and we can make font width to bold yep. and the color we can keep it black i think save this or you can make it purple and this one should be black okay so that's the design part for this so on done we have already done with that let me just click it and we will navigate to home page so let's restart and come back the way this page is done i will create two more pages second and just third one and i just replace these images first of all copy this use it and the third one okay so for third one we just write well then and we'll say and for second one okay so after changing you can just save it and you can see now three dots are coming over here and this arrow is coming now which was not coming earlier so we i just minimize this okay so for three pages let's keep it like this and here you can see we have added the next arrow over here so whatever you want you can add it over here and if you want you can just change the color as well let's say colors dot purple so that it can have some matching fine so now you can just drag like this drag like this and on the last screen we are getting this done this text as well so on done we are already navigating to the home page and you can go back as well from the notes as well you can go and if you want skip 
then there is a one more option let's go here and there is a property skip so here it is also expecting one widget so let's give a icon and for icon you can say icons dot do we have any skip icon let's use this for the time being and save this i just restart it so we are not getting any skip next okay so let's try to give it some color okay so once we added skip still it will not work because there is one more property show skip button so you just need to make it true and once you save it now you will be able to see your skip button and if you don't want the skip you can simply write this text and just delete this okay so that is your choice now when you go for skip it will take to last screen i just show it again click on skip it will take to last screen and if you want just you to go to home screen on the click of skip then you can just use one more property that is on skip which is again taking one function where again you can call this go to home page so that is your choice what you want to do so i just save this now you can skip skip is always there you can see skip is always there if you click on skip then it will take you to the home page so that is all for this video if you have any doubt do comment in the comment section otherwise like share and subscribe thank you